Today we have another little doggy with some ticks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new folks. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't as yet. Today I want to talk to you about finding ticks on wiry coat dogs. If you look there, you can see the link to the video I posted recently, pulling a hundred ticks off a dog. But with this little fella, there was not as much ticks, but the ticks was so disguised under the fur that it was hard to see. For those of you who don't know what ticks are, ticks are some of the most common external parasites seen on dogs. Fleas, ticks and mites. Now ticks are very visible because they can get very large when they're fully engorged in blood. Many of you may not know but ticks come in three different life stages that will be attached to your dog. The first life stage you may not see. The second one you'd see and it comes like a small rice grain walking away and the third one is the one everybody is familiar with when it comes as a large brown tick and then engorge itself to this big grey ball of blood. Now common places you can find ticks are usually in the ears, behind the shoulders and in the toes. Now when you have a smooth coated dog with probably white fur, it will be much easier to see the ticks but a wire head dog like this and even though the owners did pull off ticks from it, it's very difficult to find them as you can see here. If you look in that video I posted a few days ago, you would see ticks were so easy to be seen but on this fella you can't even see them until you pat the fur. Now I did go on to treat this pup with a oral flea and tick medication that kills fleas and tick for three months. But while I was there, I decided to pull off a few of these ticks, just to give it a little bit of relief before the medication started to work. You can see here how calm and cooperative the puppy was, because extracting the tick like this is not painful. It's actually very relaxing and it's a bit rewarding. Now, if you're going to get involved with pulling ticks off dogs, also know the disease associated with ticks in different geographic locations. This was done in Grenada. We do not have Lyme disease and a couple of the other zoonotic diseases that can be transmitted from ticks to humans. So, I was not too scared about what I could be infected with, uh, but I also wear a glove and a tweezer. Notice as well, I'm not busting the ticks to kill them. I'm putting them in a bottle with alcohol. This allows them to die instantly, as well as avoiding me from being in contact with the fluids from the tick, which can actually cause you to get infection in some parts of the world. Needless to say, the pup was happy and I was happy with the results. So, I've taken out as much tick as I can see and I gave her that secret medicine the last three months. You know the good stuff? Yep. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't liked the video yet. If you'd like to see me taking out ticks off of dogs, just let me know. I need a few. There's always dogs with tick to find. And she's just so cooperative.